Not a, uh... Not a bad place they got going on here. Hopefully we can make this quick. These must be the Greybeards. Hopefully we can make this quick. There might be a frost troll banging down that door so, in a few minutes. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You summoned me. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Taste my voice? All right. Let me make sure I got the right one on. Yeah, unrelenting force. All right, you just want me to like shout at you or uh? Strike us with the power of your voice. All right. Boost! There you go. Dragon Sorry about the pop back there. Is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thank you. It's I am very nice here. Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? You summoned me. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You I'm ready. Shown that you are dragonborn. Straight into it. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ah. That's a pretty weak row, bro. Oh, you... I eat it? I'm just gonna... Excuse me, I'm just, I'm just gonna steal this from you. There you go. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. God, hold on a second. That is quiet as hell. Is that music? Jesus. There we go, yeah! Get the music rocking. A little louder. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Mm -hmm. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. Alright, uh, just demonstrate it. Alright. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay. Easy. It's got a much larger range to it now, I think. Yeah? Is that what it is? Bigger range? It said focus it more sharply. I don't really know. Well done. Again. I don't really know what it means. Alright. Same deal! Man, those pots back there getting ravaged. Sorry about those. They, uh, are they expensive at all? They just... People bring... I brought snowberries, by the way. They're you learn quickly. out there. Once more. Some s snowberries. Dried meats, too. A guy wanted me to... deliver it. I think I missed it. I think it... I think it disappeared. I think I missed it. Do it again? Can you do it again? I got it this time. Oh yeah. 
We got that one. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. I brought my bow, just in case, you know. I need to shoot some bitches or something. Oh, I almost caught it. That would have been a nice skill shot. All right, follow, uh, follow guy. Force no! They don't seem to mind. All right. Ah, oh, God, it's like the lighting in here is fucking weird. You're like, does this auto adjust thing? It's very strange. Yeah, not bad. I like it here. Can this like be my home later on? I wouldn't mind that. That'd be pretty sweet. Living up high in the mountains. A little cold, a little cold. It's also 4 p.m. My character's been up for like a straight 30 hours now. Quite tired. We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you Wold, which means whirlwind. Wold. Yep. You must hear the Looks like wold. Yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Uh, wold. Approach Robin Sprint. And he will gift you his knowledge of wold. Wold me, bro. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. All right, let me let me equip it real quick. Whirlwind Sprint. The one rushes forward, carrying me in its wake in this with the speed of a tempest. Master Sweet. Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it Wolfgar. Will be your turn. That guy. All right. Master Bori. Wold it up. Wold. Oh. It's your turn. Stand the fuck. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right. I'm ready. Ready, set. Let's do it. Ah! Oh, yeah, that ain't bad. It's pretty easy. Awesome. It's like a mage's blink. Hopefully it doesn't like glitch and teleport me backwards off a cliff or something. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'm pretty awesome. I've man. heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. So I thought it was this easy for everyone. Cocky son of a bitch. Uh, it just happens. Uh, thank you. What's you are next? Now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. Map updated. Okay, cool. They showed me where it was. I was expecting it to be like, travel, like, over here and get it. Like, it's in their basement or something. Uh... Why are the dragons returning? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. All right. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. <sighs> All right. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Right, with great power comes great responsibility for her. All right. Well, uh... Voice within. Well, fuck, the marker's right there. Maybe it is, like, in their basement. Whoops, not that. Well... Actually, yeah, let's get that, uh... Level 2 Unrelenting Force up. My favorite world in Sprint 2, why not? Map, where are we going? Not here. Up here? Really? That's where I'm heading. 
All the way over there. Oh, fuck. From White Run, that's a good run. We could uh, take a carriage thing to Morthal, though. Could do that. I don't really know what else there is to do at Morthal, but... Beats fucking traveling that distance, though. Probably a lot of stuff in between, though. Mmm. I don't know. We'd like to get back to Fandal's corpse, though, and, uh, you know, grab a couple things off of it. Maybe bring him back to Riverwood for a proper burial in front of his, uh, could have been girlfriend or something. Yeah, he's deep in meditation, all right. He does not even give a fuck. Oh, damn it. Give it. Give it back. Give it. All right, that's what I get for fucking around. Off we go, see if I can find Fangdahl's body. Maybe, like, carry it back over my shoulder, back down the steps. Triumphantly returning. I'm taking my snowberries back, you motherfuckers. Triumphantly carrying back his body, back to Riverwood. No soldier left behind. Do I still actually have the active effect of, like, people not attacking me? I do. For 23 hours, animals would neither attack nor flee from me. Does that mean I could, like, pick off that fucking troll and it wouldn't even bother me? That'd be pretty sweet. I'll avenge Vandal. Kind of cheatily, but avenge him nonetheless. Vandal! No, not the axe. Fuck the axe. Vandal! Come on, man! We have to go! Go away! Go! Maybe I could, like, foos row Feindal's corpse or something. We'll find out. Come on. Come over here a little more. Kind of. Go away. Uh. Uh. Shit. That is a long trip down. Can't. Can't quite make it back up. All right. We're gonna have to leave Fandal for now. I was gonna see if I could just like drag his corpse down the mountain or something, you know, give him a good caper toss down. Roll him back down to Riverwood. Not the case though. Ow. The frost troll is a bit too aggressive. Is that, uh... I don't have a pickaxe. There's silver or silver ore here though. Good to know, I suppose. And it is seven... 7.30 in the afternoon. Is that a guard? Are you a guard? What's the bear paw? Is that another bear cave? I don't want to deal with a bear cave. Are you friendly? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. No. No, I won't be doing that. Alright, well, we're... Back on A road. I'll have to check the map, see where anything is. Ugh. All right, maybe we can make it to Falkreath. Pretty much a straight shot over to Falkreath. We haven't been there yet. I'd like to do that. Then we can take the carriage up to Morthal. So we can get that horn. My god, I hope Falkreath has a carriage. I think all the major cities do, don't they? There's a fort behind me? All right, we'll head this way then. Yeah. This road's claiming it doesn't lead straight there. It probably goes through Helgen, though. The sign might change when we go through Helgen. We'll just have to, uh... Brave through this, then. Haven't slept in a very, very long time. Here we are at Helgen. Gate's closed, though. I'm not, uh... Gate's closed. Lights are on. 
Uh, I wonder if bandits maybe moved in. Oh god, I hope not. Maybe we can get a view from the rocks here. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. We got... A couple dudes on like a wooden stake. Oh man, this might not be good. Let's do a quick inventory check here. Don't have many iron arrows either. I'm thinking I might um, head out to the stones while I'm on this path. See if I can switch it over to like the uh, the soldier stone or something. Because this thief one, snakes couldn't find. But let's face it, my original plan not quite working. 200 attacks do 15% more damage. I'm not doing battle with a uh, two-handed weapon though. That would be awful. I need that shield, and that's why I'm kind of considering doing it is because I'm finding myself just using a straight-up shield more often. 